My name is Justin Akem, and I'm a principal investigator in uh, the departments of uh, microbiology and immunology at UCSF. Uh, I work also with the Parker Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy. My laboratory is specialized in using gene editing and uh, novel chimeric antigen receptors architectures to improve uh, the anti-tumor activity of T cells and NK cells uh, in hematological malignancies and also solid tumors. That is an induced pluripotent stem cells. Uh, it's a technology that was developed uh, in the early 2000s uh, by the Yamanaka lab that then led to his uh, Nobel Prize. Uh, the principle is to take an already differentiated cells, for example, a skin cells, you can isolate some fibroblasts and they differentiate it into a stem cells. And this stem cell then has the potency to provide any other cell type in the human body. From these iPS cells, we now know how to produce immune cells such as NK cells. Uh, and the advantage of uh, this process is that we are working with one clone of iPS. And from this one clone, one cells, we can produce billions of NK cells and eventually treat thousands of patients. Uh, which in terms of manufacturing saves uh, a lot of money. Uh, another advantage of uh, working with an IPS is because it's a one clone, we can select the one cell, the one clone that will have the perfect collections of genome editing. We know that the genome editing is very precise, but when we work with primary cells, a pool, a lot of cells, it's possible that there are some off target, meaning that there's a cut into a non-intended location. Uh, with the IPS, we can now select only the cells that will have all the perfect disruptions of genes or additions of new genes and uh, remove all the cells that will have any off target. So it's also supposedly a safer approach and a more precise way uh, to produce uh, NK cells. And then from these cells with all the perfect edits with a car and without, let's say, a molecule that inhibits the NK cells in the tumors, you can produce billions and treat patients with it. Immunizing has uh, come up as a wonderful tool, not only for the research and understanding the role of genes, but also to improve uh, immunotherapy. So the principle is that a gene editing starts with a scissors, a nuclease, so you may have heard about uh, CRISPR-Cas9, which is one of them, but there, there are others like Talon or Zinc Fingers. They all pretty much do the same. They cut very precisely somewhere into the genomes. Once you have this cut, what we call a double strand break, you have several ways of repairing this cut, and that can derive either in disrupting a gene, for example, a genes that provide inhibitions to the NK cells that you would like to remove, you can do that, it's called a knockout. Or you can do a gene targeting using homologous recombinations. So it's where you repair the cut by integrating a new sequence, DNA sequence uh, in, in the locus. Uh, that's what we're using to integrate the CAR transgenes into a specific locus. So, what this technology can do to the immunotherapy, it's really to improve the capacity of these natural cells, you know, to, to unleash their, their power and be sure that, they will, uh, that the inhibitions provided by the tumor microenvironments will be limited and that we can enhance the persistence and the anti-tumor activity or the killing or the specificity of these NK cells. All of that thanks to gene editing. Cytovia and my lab at UCSF has a three years uh, sponsor research agreements, and we're gonna work on two main aims. The first aim uh, is really to identify into the NK genomes, a locus that would be optimal to integrate the CAR transgenes. Currently, the majority of uh, clinical trials using NK cells uh, is using viral vectors to deliver the CAR transgenes into the NK cells. These vectors, while they are can efficiently transduce NK cells, tend to integrate pretty much anywhere in the genomes, uh, which makes the product completely uh, non predictable in terms of a uh, level of expressions. Um, but uh, it's also a heterogeneous uh, product. And every time you have a new patient, you have a new product 
uh, with this heterogeneous uh, expression level. Uh, now, if we're doing a targeted integration using genome editing into a specific locus, we can have a much more predictable and homogeneous product. Now, we also know from previous research that if we find the optimal locus, it can also uh, improve the capacity of NK cells to persist into the tumors and deliver a better, a better anti tumor activity. Uh, the second aim of uh, this uh, collaboration with, uh, with Cytovia is really to fine tune the CAR architectures for NK cells. Currently, the CARs that are used on NK cells have been mainly developed in T cells, uh, which is another cell type, but the signaling are not exactly the same. So the idea is to optimize the CAR architecture so it will be perfect tuned for the NK cell biology and signaling and eventually uh, results in a better anti-tumor response, a better NK cell uh, persistence and anti-tumor activity.